How's it going guys? Cody back again, dropping out another video. Right guys, this time it's a story about an Aylesbury prison guard who brought over £10,000 of drugs into a Young Offenders Institute. Now, when I, when I hear £10,000 straight off the bat, um, when I normally see these figures banded about, right, even like, because obviously you've got street value, as soon as it crosses the threshold into the prison, it goes up x amount depending on once it gets onto the wing if there's a drought you're going to be paying a premium if everyone's on the if you've got five or six guys selling on the wing it's going to be sell for less because it's business and you've got to undercut people and stuff like that because if you're charging a premium and someone else has got the same product they'll go to them because it's cheaper which it just makes sense um so yeah but every time i see 10 grand it never it's never near like even by prison value it's normally a, a lot less the drug but let's read the story guys picture at the start if you can see there claire bennett um it says here, Bennett supplied drugs and information to prisoners to stop them getting caught. After supplying drugs to inmates at Aylesbury Prison, a former guard has been jailed. Claire Bennett brought drugs worth £10,000 into the Young Offenders Institute and got six and a half years inside. Bennett, who's 44 and from Sandbanks closed in Halesham, East Sussex, pleaded guilty to one count of misconduct in a public office, one count of supplying a controlled drug of Class B, one... Count of possessing a controlled drug of class B. One count of bringing, throwing over or conveying an A-list article, prohibited article, sorry, into or out of a prison in a hearing at Aylesbury Crown Court on Friday the 2nd of November. The offences all occurred between January the 1st, 2017 and the 2nd of June, 2017. Bennett, who had been a serving officer at Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute, Aylesbury, brought in drugs into the prison to a value of £10,000. She also leaked prison intelligence to prisoners, preventing them from being caught with drugs and phones. So she's given them a meds up if like security were on the case or whatever. Um, she was probably having it away with the, uh, with the lads as well, to be fair, guys. Uh, she was charged with all the offences on the 10th of September before entering her guilty plea on Friday. She's been jailed for a total of six years, uh, six and a half years at the same hearing. PC Moore of the prison's investigation team said... Bennett knowingly brought in drugs into the prison, which causes danger and violence to both prisoners and officers alike. Her conduct jeopardised the safe running of the wings. The existence of corruption in prisons will lead to an issue order, and, uh, uh, an order and control issue. The presence of drugs in prison leads to violence, bullying, debt, and prevents prisoners from addressing their substance misuse. Her conduct severely compromised the safety of staff and visitors to the prison. I hope this lengthy sentence will act as a deterrent for others who might be engaging in illicit activity within the prison system. The priority area for Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute, Aylesbury, is the management of offenders affected by gangs and violence. Bennett's uh, leaking of prison information to gang members jeopardised this work and put vulnerable prisoners and members of staff at risk. Prisons Minister Rory Stewart said corrupt and criminal activity like this undermines a whole prison and puts our hard-working staff at risk. I'm grateful to the police for their efforts to stop her and please the court has handed down the significant sentence. Now, you can see a picture of the star, guys. Now, like I say, there's many different reasons why these things happen. She could have... She could have lived local and one of the lads knows where she lives and says, listen, you better fucking do X, Y and Z or I'm going to get my boys to come and hunt you down, come through your door, right? Threats, that's one reason. It could be blackmail, again. Um, she could have, say, I don't know, she fell into a sexual relationship with a prisoner. Prisoner says, oh, what's up with some pictures of your new uniform with your tits out? So you can see her face, you can see her tits out in a prison uniform. He's got a bang to rights, he's got her over a barrel, literally. Says, listen, you better bring me drugs in or I'm taking this picture to, to the red badge and to the governor. So that's another way. She could have fallen in love with him where she's love blind and struck and love struck. And she's like, oh yeah, I'll do whatever you want, babe. Right? Could be to just top up her wages, guys. Um, it's very easy when, when you're mixing with criminals on a daily basis and you're working alongside them, it's very easy for them to work on you. And because like you'll have a screw there that's headstrong, that it, it does it by the book and takes his job way too serious. Then you've got someone like this that's like, you can see that she, she's open or she's flirty or she's open to the idea. And then you just work on it. Listen, why do you keep doing this? I can get you two or three months wages, yeah, or a month's wages to bring one for one drop. Dep obviously that can be more depending on the amount of drug and stuff like that. Um, in prison intelligence, it sounds like she was tipping them off and stuff about what security was doing and intelligence on their file. Um, lots of different things, guys. Really, really lots of different things going on here. Uh, the fact is, though, by bringing the drugs into the prison, um, it creates a vacuum and a huge problem. Because, like I say, by putting the contraband into the prison, 
you've got the contraband. Then you've got off the contraband, you've got debt. Where you've got debt, you've got fear, intimidation, bullying and violence. Um, and it goes from that way. I'm going to have to sneeze. <coughs> bless me, guys. God bless me. Right. So anyway, so yeah, so it fuels the violence within the prison and bullying, debt and violence. It's fear, intimidation, bullying and violence. And we're seeing record levels of assaults and self-harm in prison anyway, guys. And we're going to continue to see record levels of assaults and self-harm. Um, she undermines the she undermines the job and stuff like that. Um, I understand why it happens. It, it's never a good thing. But like I say, prisoners are master of manipulation. And they're masters of getting their own way. And like I say, if you work on someone long enough, some people don't need working on prison officers. Some are just open to the idea. Some are not. So you've got it. You might you could see a crack in them or a bit of weakness, and you nip away and you keep plugging away and plugging away, and then bam, the person next minute they're bringing in fucking parcels, drugs, whatever you want to call it, contraband, tobacco, drugs, new psychoactive substances like spice, big business. On that note, guys, gonna leave it here. Let me know what you think about the story. Link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.